The transfer window's over, Carlos left, and we didn't make hardly anything off of him. And why? That's because this guy here forgot the last contract he signed had a release clause. And when I realized he had a release clause, when I went in to go to renegotiate, he wasn't interested in renegotiating. And as a result, 30-something teams came in for Carlos. He left to Arsenal for 1.9 million euros because that was his release clause. It was annoying as heck. And I kid you not, he literally got like 33 different offers and because they were all 1.9 million euros. Every club in Europe, every big club in Europe, it seemed, that had 1.9 million euros to scrape together made a bid on Carlos. And he went to Arsenal, who then turned around and loaned him to Blackburn, so he's now in the championship. But Alexander Mana went to Atramitos for 230,000 euros. Uh, Art and Demi went to Genk for 1.3 million. They made an offer for him, and he really wanted to go, so I said okay. And then on the last day, Boris Pesevsky, Partizan came in for 2.5 million, and he really wanted to go. And part of me says if it wasn't the last year of the save, I would have kept him. But the other part of me says I've got a couple of younger guys that I want to bring up and get some playing time, Tassif in particular. And so I'm okay letting him go. Uh, to be honest with you, like I just said, if this wasn't the last year of the save, I might feel differently about that. But, you know, for the moment, to quote some very famous people, it is what it is. So after beating Velzerimi, we beat TEDx, we beat Academica Pandev, and then we went into the Christmas break, and we had some very nice uh, friendlies. Beating Velez Mostar 5-0 was nice. Beating Sarajevo 5-2 was nice. We beat Macedonia 3-0. Today, it's Banach Ostrava home and away in the Euro Cup 2 first knockout round legs. And I don't know. We'll take a look at it here. Let's see what the coach says. It's right-footed. Ilyevsky is right-footed. That's fine. That's off Alexander. Oh, I totally forgot to look at the ends. I did bring a couple, I did bring a couple guys in. Uh, first in, Eden Kostovsky from Velasica for 1 million euros. Defensive left back and wing back. Maybe not the best guy technically, but mentally and physically, he's okay. Um, the five off the ball and the five vision are really kind of low. He's 22 years old. I think it, those will improve a little bit. Um, he would be a long-term project, and, you know, I probably overpaid for him to get him here, but I need a depth at defensive left back. Uh, I didn't recall the other guy because I signed Kostovsky, and I thought, you know, why pull the other guy off? Kostovsky can definitely step up and take the place. I think it's interesting. He can also kind of sort of play striker. And then Nikola Mitrev, we got in from Venezia for 96,000 euros. Uh, midfielder who is going to not take over Carlos's position, but he's going to be in the midfield. He can also play defensive center back in a pinch if I need him to. But physically, he's really nice. Mentally, he's strong where I like him to be. The five positioning is a bit on the low side, but, you know, 11 passing, 11 technique, 13 dribbling, 11 crossing. I am okay with that. Okay. So match fit wise, we could be a little bit better, but this is a decent squad. We got Spass off in goal, Tosevsky, Markovsky, Serafimov, and Barty is the defensive back four. Todorov, Markovsky, and Oda is the midfielders. Blazevsky is the attacking mid. Ilyevsky and Tusha up top as the strikers. We still got a strong squad. I'm just really kind of hacked off that I let Gabriel go for that cheap. I should have realized last year we weren't going to be able to keep him past this year. He was just getting too good and too many people were noticing. And I should have given him a new contract and taken out the uh, minimum fee release clause. And I didn't, and it's totally on me. It was a complete numpty thing to do. Tusha, back to Barty. Barty, into the crowd, knocked away. Manjarez, up to the Karina. Kurtz was, he was way off sides. Come on. How was he on side? Because he started even with whoever that is. Serfimov just went right around Spasov like he wasn't even there. Markovsky centers it to Serfimov. Serfimov dwelling on the ball. That's not good. Markovsky, Tilievsky, Tilievsky gets it over to Tusha. Tusha back to Oda. Oda out to Barty. Barty to Tusha, who's fouled. Oda, he skies it. What the heck was that? And Tusha got freaking body checked to the pitch. Pentelik, Kreshki, headed down by Markovsky to Markovsky, Blazewski, back to Markovsky, up to Tusha, Ilyevsky, Markovsky, out to Barty, Barty to Oda, 
Oda Dulyevsky, and he hits the crossbar, but he follows up and puts it away. His 15th goal of the season. Oh, it was a bit of luck. I will take that. Nice first touch by Barty. Nice cross in by Oda Ilyevsky on the volley. Was able to follow it up. That was nice. Pantelich. Couch. Christie? Kurtz? How is he on sides? Bless it. Bassaw. Anguene to Williams. To Mensa. To the Kuna. To Hodemakers. Kurtz gets by the defender again. Spass off with a stop. To Kuna. Knocked away. Mensa. Kreshi on the throw-in. And Jarez back to Kalak. Kreshi top of the box. Back to Kalak. Kreshi knocked away. Serafimov goes to Williams, though, for Banna Costrana. Mensa sends it in. Kurtz is there, and it hits the post. Sebastian Kurtz with a brace of goals gives them the lead going into half. This keeps up. I may have to change the formation. Barty, Markovsky, Oda, Barty, Lazevsky, back to Serafimov, Markovsky, 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 Barty, Oda, Markovsky, back to Barty, crossed in, oh, okay. Manjaras to Kurtz, Hodemakers to Kalak, Manjaras to Kurtz, Kurtz breaks wide. Holds it up, crosses it in, panel looks there, and it goes wide. Switch it up to a diamond. I'm bringing a defensive mid in. Something I rarely do, but... Baranek. Out to Mensa. Pantelich. Manjaras. Kurtz. Kalik. Tobias to Krej. Krejci. Krejci. Crossed it in. Kurtz is there. Freaking hat trick. This is annoying. This is really annoying. And it's not like he wasn't well defended. Spasov flailing. Nazimov. Blazowski. What are we doing, guys? Nazimov to Todorov. Blazowski. Nazimov. Blazowski. Todorov to Nazimov. Guys, the goal is the other freaking direction. Todorov. Nazimov. Tusha. And we get one back. And he's saying he's offsides. Of course. Nice interception. Markovsky. Nazmov. Baslevsky. Oda. Up to Tusha. Tusha out to Babich. Babich to Oda. Dispossessed. Panelik ends up with it. It's breaking wide. Holds it up. Crosses at Kalak. Kretschy, Tobias. Turns around, Kretschy, Tobias. Kretschy, off the post. Barty just bombs it forward. Baranek, Aguene, to Baranek. Out to Mensa. Mensa to Panelik. Mensa to Valsa. Kurtz. How is he on sides?
how? How is that onside? Vincent so Debranic. Tobias. Kellogg. Dispossessed by Bilzewski? Nope. Maguene. Shmovich. Just bombs it forward. Kurtz ends up with the ball somehow. Panel it to Kurtz. Doing that with my elbow. <sighs> Everything I've done in this game has been absolutely wrong. Babbage. Oda. Tusha. Babbage just lost it forward, no one in particular. Barty gets the ball back. Oda. Wolzewski. Tusha. Oda. Ilyevsky takes the shot. Wow, that was nice. Surprised it didn't call it off sides or a foul or something. Especially on the throwing. Tobias. Cresci. Back to Tobias. Cresci. Maguense. Cresci. Kalach. Balsa. Out to Mensa on the left. He sends it up to Panelik. Panelik back to Mensa. Oda. Nope, to Manjaris rather. Kalach. Out to Tobias. Tobias holds it up, turns around. Kretschy, Kalak. They're calling that a Kurtz goal? They're saying he had it in. Dude's got all six goals. Spasov just lumps it down the field. Panelik has it down to Mensa. Todorov intercepts though. Blazewski feeds Ilyevsky. Rounds the keep. No, Jamonic. Very nice save. Todorov knocked away. Embarrassing. Embarrassing, embarrassing, embarrassing. The whole season has been nothing but embarrassing game. What the actual hell? Oda Markovsky are missing the next games. We're going to play Gosper offline. We're going to come back with back to We need four goals at home just to even have a chance. Son of a gun. Well, it's going to come down to this. We beat Gostovar 4-0. It was a good match. Um, the only drawback was Hassab hurt his neck. He's out four to seven weeks. So he's a young striker with potential. Take a look at who the coach says we should be playing today. Everybody's match fit. It's not our strongest squad. Because Markoski's out and Oda's out due to too many yellows. 
So we're going to have Spatsov from goal, Tosevsky, Nazimov, Serafino from Bardi is the defensive back four, Trashkov, Markovsky, rather, and Todorov is the midfielders, Blazevsky is the attacking mid, with Ilyevsky and Tusha up top as the strikers. In front of the home crowd, we're four goals down. Trashkov, chest the ball down. Markovsky, up into space. Ilyevsky's there and he puts it away. That was really nice. Wow, that was a nice shot. Barty to Markovsky, who already picked up a yellow. Blazewski. Up into space for Ilyevsky. Got by the defenders. Loses it. Gets it back. Gets it to Tosevsky. Blazewski loses control. Gets it back. Back to Tosevsky. Tosevsky to Trashkov. Trashkov to Markovsky. Up to Barty on the right. Barty dwelling on the ball too much. Markovsky. Back to Serafimov. He drives forward. Markovsky to Blazewski. <coughs> He's what I overtime to cough. <coughs> Too sure with a goal. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Holy smokes. That was nice. Fun makers. Was a nice shot. Mensa on the throw in. Hoodmakers. Out to Manjaris in the center. And his shot goes high. Jumovic just bombs it forward. Kurtz heads it down to Manjaris, but he's dispossessed. Kurtz gets it back, though. Panelect to Manjaris. What the hell is going on? And Jaros, knocked away by Barty. Todorov's going to run it down, hopefully. He does. Bangs it up for Tusha. Tusha's not going to get there. Aguane's going to send it over to Juzmovic. He's going to hold up on it. Send it down the field. Barty heads it all the way back to Spasov. Spasov to Nazmov. Serafimov. Todorov. Tusha. Markovsky. Trashkov. Blazewski. Oh, Juzmovic, a very nice save. Get a goal before the half. Two should. Markovsky. Todorov drops off to Barty. Barty holds it up. They're running all over each other in the box. What the heck? Barty tries crossing in and it bounces off. Hoodmakers. Pantelic drops it off. Gets it back. Manjaris. Hoodmakers. Pantelic. Corner kick. Ball's knocked away, goes out of bounds. It should be half. I don't know what's going on. It's like we forgot how to play. Serfimov, Todorov, Lozevsky, Markovsky, Tilievsky, Tosevsky. Crosses it in. Ber Branick knocks it away. Tobias. Loss it forward. Kurtz is there. Poor seat. That's it. There's no way we're coming back from this. Even if I had Gabriel and Blazewski and some of the guys, I let go.
Oh, a nice goal by Markovsky. It's too little too late. It's too little too late. Freaking Kurtz got six goals in the first match. Some of which I'm still not sure how they were on sides. Calling them offsides. Of course they are. Barty to Tusha. Barty to Markovsky. Serfimov to Nazimov. Plazevsky, Todorov. Loses the ball. Mensa. Hodemakers to Mensa. Gulak to Mensa. Hodemakers. Oh, just possessed. Ilyevsky. Centers it. Plazevsky. And he gets it. Can we get three goals in 15 minutes? I doubt it. <laughs> Gross enough. Off the post. Nope. We're not going to do it. We're going to lose on aggregate because Kurtz had freaking six goals the first game. I just I am so disappointed. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's justified. Not that we would have gotten farther. I mean, there's still some really good squads. I mean, Benfica, PSV, Stoi Bucharest is still in it. But there's just There's nothing really left to play for, is there? I mean, conceivably, well, not even conceivably, within the rules of the save, we're stuck. I can't sign non-Macedonian players, so everything has to come from in-house. Or from Macedonian players who end up on other squads. The Macedonian players on other squads don't want to come here because the team's not big enough. And I've got a good core squad. It's just that they're not good enough to compete on the international level. And the kicker is, like as an example, okay, so, you know, I need a better striker. And these are all, these are all the Macedonian strikers. And the kicker is, we had Demi, we had Hadziewski. Soligi isn't anywhere near good. I mean, he's got a 1-2 to two strength and a 1-5 to five determination, for crying out loud. Basevsky we just had. Alexovsky's 30. And he's only worth 7,000. You know, and if I if I take off the position thing, Stamkov we had. Masevsky we had. Bozanovsky we had. Nice, the talent pool is not that deep. I'd need another 5 or 7 years to... have a talent pool to pull from. And until then, we're going to be playing with a squad that is just good enough to get us to a point where we're really disappointed, where I'm really disappointed. This is frustrating. This is... We lose to Banak Ostrava there after losing the... after getting out of the group. We lose to Slovako here. We didn't even get out of the group here. We can get out of the group here. 
We lost to Lille here. We lost to Slavia Prague there. We lost to... We didn't get out of the group here because freaking Wolfsburg and Kukurichi jammed us. But we lucked our way out of the group in 24-25, got to the Euro Cup first knockout round. We got absolutely slaughtered by Real San Sebastian. And we couldn't give it past Sheriff Tarasipol in our second season. And it's just the... the Clubs, the clubs, I mean, I've got good youth players coming up, and they have potential. I just, I mean, for all intents and purposes, I've got nothing left to play for. I, I really don't, do I? I mean, if we look at the current standings now, we're 12 points ahead of Rabbit Nikki. And we're just stuck, we're stuck in a place where we're the dominant team in the Macedonian League. That's good enough to get us to the Euro Cup too, and no further. Our finances are great. Our transfer budget's great. The facilities are great. The finances are secure. The reputation's a little better, but we just we can't we can't really go beyond where we are without another five to seven years of development. Because that's what it's going to take. It's going to take five to seven years of other teams and their new gens getting good and me being able to get them to the squad and poaching players in-house. That's the other thing I'm wondering is... Like, Jindratze, you know, when does he go... He's got three years left before he can even become a citizen. And he's 19. Am I going to be able to play him? Where's the other guy? Tralabas. He's awaiting paperwork, but is he going to take Macedonian citizenship knowing he's a Cypriot national? I don't think so. I think he's going to resign. There's, there's, no, there's no reason to stay. There's no reason to continue the save. And we're getting to the end anyways. If I have this planned out right, the beta is going to drop in a few days. And this was this was a really interesting save. It's been a, it's been a challenging save. And I've enjoyed it. But we've gotten to that point where if it was longer term, I would push through. But I, just, I don't have another five to seven years to develop players taking nine of the staff with me we're just going to save the game here and then just we're going to call it a save the name of the save was an alexander wept and in this case alexander cuts off weeping because he's done the best he can do with the tools given him he can't take them any further not without a lot of luck or a lot of cheating and scum saving which everybody would see through right away i mean this the squad, it's a solid squad, but no one's going to believe them winning the Euro Cup too. They're not good enough. I just, man, I wish I could have done better. I wish I'd started the save a few months. I wish I'd started the save earlier in the year that I would have gotten a few more seasons in. Because the past couple of years of the save have been kind of by seat of the pants. It didn't go quite according to plan. I got away from the player development side of it. Um, man, noticed I've surgery on my elbow that's been kind of distracting me for a little bit but that's not a huge it's i say it's not a huge deal but it actually kind of is but i just this is one of those challenging saves that i would re, I, I really like but if there wasn't so much else going on outside of it i think i would have liked it a lot more but we had a good run you can't deny that we took Vardar back to the top we had some really good european performances we just we topped it out and we would need we, we would need to be able to sign foreign players to have any sort of success, and the club won't let us do that. You know, and the and the the Macedonian players that I could buy for six million euros, they're not interested in coming to the squad because the squad's not big enough because the league's not good enough. Now the league's getting better because the players have been getting better. That's due no part to some of the new gens I've had come through and academic of hand and some of the others, but it's just a never-ending cycle. The squad can't get bigger till the players get better, 
The players aren't going to get better till they develop, which takes time. By the time they develop, do they want to stay? You know, it's a it's a it's a never ending cycle. It's you can do it. I've seen other guys do it at other clubs. Probably the best example is cultured left foot. He had a save in FM eighteen. I want to say with Maribor, and he took them all the way to the Champions League. And Maribor starts out in a similar situation. They're a medium sized club in a in a medium sized division, but they didn't. He didn't have near the restrictions I did. And I'm proud of the fact we got as far as we did with the restrictions we had. Having the performances we have with just Macedonian players, a country that's not even in the game, you have to download a league to do it, and their talent pool isn't all that deep. I knew that going in. I did. It was a challenge. But man, it just... Challenge accepted. Challenge not beaten. I can't even call it a draw. The challenge beat me. You know, Vardar's a Euro Cup 2 team. And... A couple more years, they might actually be going a little bit further in the Euro Cup, but with teams like Leicester and Real San Sebastian and stuff like that in it, we're just, and we're limited to Macedonian players. I just, no, it's not going to happen. Not anytime soon, unfortunately. I just, I don't have time for it. This is literally episode 74. I just posted episode 54. So I'm 20 episodes ahead, three seasons ahead, three seasons ahead. If I time this right, this will be dropping right before the alpha, right before the release of FM23 comes out. You know, and it's been a fun save. Would I would I be interested in doing something similar? Yes, but maybe not with as many restrictions, or maybe in a country where the talent pool is a little deeper. At one point in time, I was going to do an alternate order save. They're a Turkish club, and they can only sign Turkish players. The Turkish talent pool is a lot deeper than Macedonia. And that could be fun. I just, man, this was a good save. I, I really did enjoy it. It may not look like it now, but that's because the pain pills are wearing off, I swear. This was a good save. I had some good players come through. I don't know. I just, I wish I'd done better. In fact, we didn't, it's on me. I, I wasn't nearly as involved in the save as I could have been for a variety of reasons. But it was still fun to play. I still love this game. This was a good challenge, and I'm glad I did it. I'm glad you guys were all along for the ride. Those of you who stuck it out until then, I really appreciate it. Those of you who stopped and left the comments, I appreciate it as well. But, you know, if you disagree with what I'm doing, let me know down in the comments. Let me know what you would have done differently. You know, but Alexander wept. He wept because he couldn't do a better job. I'm kind of crying on the inside, to be honest with you. I, I thought I could have done a better job. Maybe... My reach exceeded my grasp, but there's only one way to find out, and that's to fail trying, and that's what we did. So, but I'm counting this as a successful save. This has been one of my more favorite saves. The challenges have been quite daunting. In fact, I couldn't overcome them this time. I'm okay with that. We'll do another save. I got three saves planned for, for FM23. The beta is going to be St. Etienne, and I'm going to have an online save that I'm going to do on the blog as well. So, I want to be a little bit more involved with that. You know, we're going to go from there. So I thank those of you who stuck through this and, and participated. Thanks for watching. And if you did like what you've seen and heard, please have a like. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Questions, criticism, comments, leave those down below. Tell me what you would have done differently. I would appreciate it. And my name is FM Jellico. I thank you for watching.